All right, let's take apart the Asus Zenfone 6. First thing we're gonna do, remove the SIM tray. All right, now we're gonna heat up the back with either a hair dryer or a heat gun, so it loosens up the adhesive underneath. And then we're gonna use our plastic pry tool to pry off the back. All right, once you have the adhesive pried off, we're gonna lift up the back plate from the left side towards the right. Be careful, the fingerprint scanner over here is still attached to the main board. Okay, so now we have seven Phillips screws on the top portion we still need to remove. Before we can remove the plastic cover to disconnect the fingerprint reader and the battery cable. Okay, now we can go ahead and remove the top cover. And then first we'll disconnect the battery cable, located over here. Now we'll disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. All right, now we've got a few more cables we need to disconnect. Now let's go ahead and lift up this cable as well. We also have two more wire cables on the bottom right of the motherboard. Let's go ahead and disconnect those. Okay, there's two more cables left. One is on the top left. And we got one over here, on the top right. Okay, we got one Phillips screw holding down the main board. We're gonna remove that. All right, now before we lift up and remove the main board, the cable for the camera mechanism is still connected over here on the main board. We're gonna have to remove that. And this connector is something I really haven't seen in a phone before, or at least personally, I haven't seen one, but it reminds me of those MacBook Pro cables for the screens. To disconnect this cable, there's a latch over here. You just gotta be careful, don't damage it. Just gently pull up on each side. All right, now we're gonna lift up and remove the main board. As you can see, there's a very thick layer of thermal paste over here, the pink colored one, that makes contact with the frame and underneath the board over here. I'm assuming that's where the processor is. With this design, basically the main board is sitting on top of another board underneath, which has a SIM reader over here and also connects with these cables to the top board. So basically it's a half board underneath and a half board on top. There's one more cable for the camera assembly over here. Go ahead and pop it up. There's four more Phillips screws we need to remove. All right, now we're gonna remove the cover over the camera assembly. And then we're gonna lift up the wires. Open up the camera. There are two more Phillips screws, one over here and one over here in the corner. Go ahead and remove those. All right, there's one more cable over here. Go ahead and disconnect that. And then we can remove the camera assembly finally after all these wires. So all those screws, all those wires later, here it is, the flip camera. All right, so yet there is another wire on top left hand corner. We need to disconnect that wire. And now we're gonna peel up and remove the bottom board. So here's the bottom piece. All right, as far as the battery goes, there's a pull tab over here on the bottom, but I found no use for it because the battery just peels off easily. Just like that. So here are the specs for the battery. All right, finally, this teardown is coming to an end. Oh, there's six more Phillips screws we need to remove. Let's go ahead and remove those screws. All right, let's take the bottom cover off.
So here's the speaker assembly. Artist disconnect this cable over here. You got the two wire cables on the side. You have one more Phillips screw over here holding on the charger port board. Here's a charger port board. All right, so I gotta say, this is not one of the easiest disassemblies. However, replacing the battery seems pretty easy enough. All right, let's go ahead and reassemble the phone. Now apply some new adhesive, place the back plate back over. Flip it around. Pour it on and you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on that notification bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in the next video.